How's it going guys and welcome back to Discovery. Today we're looking at the Kuntis, is it Kuntis, a bit of a weird name, Kuntis LED monitor light which goes on top of your monitor and brightens the place up. So let's open the box and see what we get. Okay, so you can typically buy this on Amazon. If you uh, have a look in the description below, there's a link that takes you through to the product. So have a look on there. Um, and if you like this video, please drop us a like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Anyway, we've got on the box here, um, it uh, you know, tells you a bit about the features on the top. So anti-glare uh, light uh, beam that we get there. And the whole idea of it is if you light up your kind of office space with the nice even lighting, you uh, reduce the eye strain from looking at the monitor all day, which is a really good help, especially if you're working from home. You know, you might not have the same kind of lighting that a traditional office would have. That's the whole point of getting something like this to kind of even out that lighting. So the good part things about this is an LED light. It's got adjustable color temperature as well. So you can go from, uh, I think it says on the back here, uh, the color temp, where is it? I did see it. Um, yeah, so the color temp here goes from 3000K to 6500K. So basically what that means is the Kelvin uh, color temperature. So that goes from uh, 3000K, which is quite a warm white, you know, quite cozy looking one, all the way up to 6500K, which is quite a bluey tinge to it. And then if we're in between 4000K is your neutral white light across the board. So it's got that in it and it's adjustable brightness as well. So uh, yeah, let's open up the box. Um, if you pull open this tap here, quite lightweight already. I can already tell it's quite a lightweight product. Um, so inside here you have an instruction manual which tells you how to operate the thing, um, how to mount it and all that jazz. And it's uh, multiple languages as well. So that's nice to see. Um, let's see what we've got here. We've got a little uh, Allen key there with um, uh, some mounting hardware. So you get that as well. Um, and then these would be the, uh, the brackets and the uh, USB as well as the light bar itself. Let's take this out. Okay. So let's unwrap here. So that's the LED light bar itself. It feels quite a nice quality actually. Um, and bigger than what I thought it would be, uh, which is nice. So the whole idea of it is it's designed to go clamp on top of your monitor, um, like a webcam would, um, and you just plug it in and then it's got little touch capacitive buttons here, which um, kind of adjust the, uh, the, the brightness and the features and all that. So let's have a look at the mounting hardware. Now they do do the same thing for a laptop as well which is a slightly smaller version. And they've got uh, this version, which is for a, a desktop monitor, which is a bit larger. Um, I think that's the one I've got here. Um, and they send you this nice USB type C braided cable as well. Um, really good quality cable, actually this one. And it's USB to type C. So that just plugs into the, uh, the bottom of the light bar there and then it plugs it in to get its power. So you don't need any external power brick or a plug or anything like that. And then that's your mounting hardware there. Um, so effectively, it just kind of clamps on to the top of your monitor. Um, so we're using, um, you know, uh, the little uh, uh, clamp system we've got here. So you kind of just put it in there like, th like that with the uh, hole at the back there for the, um, the cable and then it just snaps in. So let me just put this in here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Snaps in like that, and then you just clamp it to your monitor there. Now it has got two types of uh, little brackets here. So there's a bracket there, and there's a bracket there. And the idea of it is the, the gap there is adjustable to fit different sizes of monitors because not everyone's monitors thickness might be the same. So they give you an option there to kind of change which one you kind of want it. But the, uh, the thing is a spring loaded and you can um, pull it out and put it back forward to kind of fit most monitors. What you will need to bear in mind is on the front there, there is a bit of a lip. So depending on your monitor itself, like how much bezel thickness you've got on the monitor, 
would depend on if this cuts into the actual display or not. So you need to have, I'd probably say about, um, it looks about a centimeter, yeah, ideally. You'd want like a centimeter of bezel around your monitor. Otherwise this will kind of cover some of your monitor, which you'll probably find quite annoying. So let me just uh, get this hooked up to the uh, monitor upstairs and we can get an idea of what it looks like when it's on. Okay guys, so here it is actually installed on the monitor here. Um, so it looks quite nice um, when it's actually on there. Uh, but one thing you probably need to be aware of is if you put a, a webcam on top of your monitor and then you want that in the middle, then there's not actually a way where you can put the webcam on top of the bar. Um, I'm using the Logitech uh, C920 and yeah, you kind of can't have them both at the same time. So um, there might be a way around it, um, you know, but uh, that's just something to be, be aware of if you are already using that space for the light bar. So the light bar's here. It mounted on dead easy actually using the clamping method and it does actually go quite bright as well. Um, so if you have a look here on the buttons, um, you've got your simple on off button there and they're just capacitive touch buttons. So you just press that and then the light turns off and then you can just press that and turn it back on. Dead easy. Um, you've also got a, uh, uh, see this button here, which is a, a color, uh, it's like a brightness sensor. So it does auto brightness depending on how bright your room is. So say for example, if I um, put this brightness down, um, so now it's like on its lower setting manually. Um, if I actually press that, um, it'll go brighter because it thinks it's quite dark above here. So if I turn that on, you can see that the light will start to go a bit brighter because it senses that it's, um, it's darker in the environment. To be honest, where I've got it positioned here, it doesn't work very well because above here, is always in shade because of my um, shelf here. But if you didn't have that shelf and this was just your normal kind of ceiling light, then maybe it would uh, work a bit better there. You can also change the temperatures of the, uh, the light. So if I just turn off my light in the room so you can see better. So yeah, if you press this button here, you can change the temperature of the light. So if I just press that. Okay, so now this is like a really warm 3000K yellow. Um, and then you can press it again and then it becomes a neutral white. You can press it again and then you get a, you know, a brighter white and then a bluey white. So depending on what kind of color you're after. You can also change the brightness by pressing this and it does it in a step. So you can do it one, two, you know, different brightness levels like that. And you can also press and hold if you want it to gradually go up. And it's the same with the color temperature. You can press and hold and do it that way as well. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. It, it, you know, it works quite well. Just something to bear in mind about the webcam mounting and the uh, the sensor. Uh, if you want to do the auto brightness, probably not have something above it because that'll affect its performance. Um, but other than that, the actual light itself is very, very bright. Um, so this is what it's like when my room lights completely turned off. Um, but if you uh, turn the room lights on, you know, um, let's have a look what I've got here. Turn that back on. That's what it looks like. And then I can kind of dim it, you know, and it makes a really nice task light to uh, have while you're kind of working. So it's got less eye strain. So yeah, I actually quite recommend it. Have a look in the link in the description if you think about buying one um, and let us know what you think of the actual uh, light bar. Um, if you've got any uh, questions, give us a shout and I'll be happy to answer them. Catch you on the next one, guys.